If you're struggling to drive with manual gears, head over to the game's audio settings and turn on the upshift tone. This will play beeping sound, which will tell you when to change gears. Listen up. You can make it so that the game automatically mutes other players the instant you join a multiplayer lobby. During practice or qualifying, you can check the weather forecast for the current session as well as the weather for future sessions. This is incredibly useful when you are racing online and don't know if the weather is going to be completely different during qualifying compared to the race. At the end of every race, you can go down and select the race director option. In the incidents tab, you can see every warning and penalty given during the race as well as which lap they happened in. If you go to the other tab, we can see the lap times of every single driver throughout the race. Looking at your own lap times can give you a good idea of how consistent you are. Laps that are within one second of each other is good, but having lap times within half a second of each other is amazing consistency. When you switch to newer engine parts in career mode or my team, make sure to use the old parts during practice. This will make sure that the new engine lasts much longer throughout the season. If you pause the game, then head over to settings, then OSD customization, you can customize the position of all the HUD elements to your liking in the F1 game. Here's an example of where I moved one of the HUD elements so I can easily see my lap delta during qualifying. If you spin while playing with medium or no traction control, just lock the steering wheel in one direction and slam on the accelerator to quickly turn around. Just be careful of the rear tire temperatures for the next few corners. You can also pause the game and select reset the track. This method is also useful for driving past a blocked piece of road. If you find the button mapping in the game to be uncomfortable to use, you can change it in the settings. Personally, I swapped the overtake and DRS buttons and also added some MFD shortcuts that allow me to see my damage or tire temperatures at the click of my analog sticks. Deleting your personal best ghost removes you from the leaderboard, which is great if you want to keep your setups a secret don't like these strategy changes that Mop gives you during the race, you can make your own strategy changes by heading to the Race Strategy MFD page where you can change your tire compound which can be useful when the weather is changing, your wing level because the car's weight balance changes as you use up the fuel or you can opt to change your damaged front wing at the next pit stop. Make sure to use the full width of the track when taking corners so you can carry more speed through the corners overall and therefore have a faster lap time. In fact, I actually did a video on this. When an opponent's rear light is blinking during dry conditions, this means that they are recharging their battery and therefore are going to be slower on the straights. This is a great time to attempt an overtake. If you're playing on a controller, push your analog stick upwards and slide it along the rim of the controller. This enables you to turn more smoothly and therefore become faster. You can make Jeff stops hawking by using the radio quiet command in the MFT. Copy. He will only communicate if you're the one asking questions. You can then let him speak by using the radio talk command. Copy that. If the weather is changing during a session, flick between two tire selections to see the tire deltas update in real time so you can make the best decision for the current weather conditions. Turn on the virtual mirror in the game so you can more quickly see what's going on behind you, especially for avoiding rambles. When braking while using the driving line assist, try to stop braking only when you're about to get to the red part of the racing line assist. That's the best time to brake, it's going to give you the best results. Never fill up your car with more than one lap of extra fuel. You won't be able to use it up and therefore carry all this extra weight which will just make you slower throughout the race. In fact, the moment you load into the race, what you'll actually notice is that the game gives you a suggested amount of fuel. I found it to be correct about 99% of the time so don't even change the fuel level, trust me. Switch to ERS mode, none, during an outlet so that you don't use up the battery before your qualifying lap. This is especially important if you want to do two qualifying laps in a row. Watch hot lap and track guide videos on YouTube. You can learn new tracks much faster and gain lots of information which will help you to get faster lap times. Now if you want to get a good race start, check out this tutorial I made on how to get a better race start in the F1 game.